Solar energy looks to be one of the best growing forms of renewables. Its demand has been growing rapidly and driving the world toward a low carbon future. This has prompted tremendous innovation in the field and brought panels with groundbreaking efficiencies like perovskite solar cells, solar tiles, roofs, and organic panels. But what if we can harvest solar energy from the windows and skylights of our homes and skyscrapers, or even from our car windows? A new innovation from Tohoku University in Japan is one step closer to making that possible. Here comes windows that can generate power from the sun. Transparent solar cells, which have the potential to convert windows, greenhouses, glass panels of smart devices, and more into energy harvesting devices, have taken another step toward becoming a reality. A team of scientists from the Tohoku University in Japan have created a near-invisible solar cell using indium tin oxide, or ITO, as a transparent electrode and tungsten disulfide as a photoactive layer. Remarkably, the team was able to achieve transparencies of 79% on the solar cell and can help tape the transition metal dichalcogenides, or TMD-based near-invisible solar cells, from laboratory-only development to industrialized quantities. Recent developments in perovskite and organic semiconductors have yielded incredible efficiencies of today's levels, along with some transparency gains, but nothing greater than 70% transparency until now. As many scientists are challenged with making more efficient solar cells, some scientists have taken the route of creating highly transparent cells that can be used as window glass in buildings and windows. The technology used to achieve this level of transparency is known as the Stotke Junction Solar Cell Technology. Here, the band necessary for charge separation is provided by an interface placed between a metal and a semiconductor. In the proposed device and ideal band structure, the discrepancy in the work function, or WF, between one of the electrodes and the semiconductor separates the photogenerated electron hole pairs. Once the generated carriers travel to the opposite electrode, power generation can be realized. I know that's a lot to process. Tungsten disulfide is a member of the family of materials known as transition metal dichalcogenides, or TMDs, which the scientists said are ideal for near-invisible solar cells production due to their suitable band gaps in the visible light range and highest absorption coefficiency per thickness. In the development of solar cells, the researchers sought to avoid interface impurity that they said may be the cause of undesired surface recombination, which would, in turn, reduce the separation efficiency of carriers at the interface barrier, thus affecting the device's open circuit voltage. The indium tin oxide and tungsten disulfide connection was created by sputtering indium tin oxide onto a quartz substrate and growing the tungsten disulfide monolayer using chemical vapor deposition, or CVD. The contact barrier between tungsten disulfide and indium tin oxide was adjusted by coating various thin metals on top of indium tin oxide and introducing a thin layer of tungsten trioxide between the thin metal and indium tin oxide and the monolayer tungsten disulfide. As a result, the Stotke barrier height increased dramatically, up to 220 magnetoelectric volts, potentially increasing the charge carrier separation efficiency in this stocky type solar cell. As a result, the researchers found that the power conversion efficiency of the solar cell with the optimized electrode was more than 1,000 times greater than that of a device employing the regular ITO electrode. The researchers calculated that a 1 square centimeter solar cell with an extremely high value of average visible transmission might have its total power raised up to 420 picowatts by repeating the experiments on this optimized unit device with the right amount of series and parallel connections. There are 5 to 7 billion square meters of glass surfaces in the United States alone. And in most buildings, these large areas of glass remain unused energy potential. With the aid of studies like this one, we may eventually develop transparent solar panels, which would have far-reaching ramifications. Imagine the sheer amount of electricity that could be generated if we could tap into that power. When it comes to solar panels, efficiency is not everything. The low efficiency of transparent solar panels means that we need a larger area covered for the same amount of power that a 20% efficient solar panel would cover. 
However, given the transparent solar panels can be integrated into buildings, there's more potential surface area to compensate for the lower efficiency. An interesting advantage of partially transparent solar panels is that thin film solar cells can achieve high efficiencies even when they're not at optimal tilting angles, which is great for buildings and skyscrapers where the windows are installed vertically. Thin film solar cells are also more tolerant of heat, having a lower decrease in efficiency than traditional crystalline silicon solar panels at high temperatures. Fully transparent solar panels have a clear advantage over partially transparent versions, so as they can turn any glass sheet or window into a photovoltaic cell, they look better, and they have a wider range of use cases. If you liked this video, hit the like button, and send us your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.